Time to play with some clay. Alright, I got some good input from some people, and uh, one gentleman, uh, in fact, a gentleman that just purchased one of my bronzes, uh, sent me this. These are 2,000 year old uh, uh, sandals that they, a uh, Jewish person would have worn about the time of Jesus. And uh, it's got a kind of a weird uh, cut on the uh, sole of the, the, the uh, sandal. I don't know exactly what that's about. This is more like the one I would probably do. I like this one here. And where this strap is held down uh, and goes around and behind his ankle uh, makes sense to me because if you're going to have some place where you want to keep the, the, the sandal on your feet would be right there uh, because that's where the stress of you lifting your foot up uh, would be all the time. And uh, double uh, thong with a uh, tie right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one is way too weird. I don't think I'll do that one. I'm just trying to see if they somehow tied this onto their feet or if they just probably just slipped it on and slipped that back part up, up over their uh, back of their uh, Achilles heel. Anyway, that's uh, what I'm thinking. And somebody else, uh, a, a young lady who served over in Afghanistan uh, emailed me, or didn't email me, commented on the last video I put up. Uh, she actually served over in, in Afghanistan. She said, people over there wear sandals year-round, cold or warm. And uh, so I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and take this sock off. I, I didn't feel good about it in the first place because there is a uh, passage in the Bible where uh, I think Mary Magdalene or somebody... I think it's Mary Magdalene, uh, washes uh, his feet as a sign of uh, respect or something. I'm not sure what the meaning was behind it. I'm not a, I'm not uh, well versed in the Bible, <laughs> let me put it that way. And uh, she, he is, and, and uh, so he, he passed on this uh, thing, this uh, passage about how she took uh, the sandals off his feet and washed his feet and, and doesn't say anything about removing a sock. <laughs> so <laughs> it pretty well locks in the, the fact that I'm going to take the, uh, the uh, sock off his foot. So I, that's a long roundabout way of saying the sock's going to is a goner. I tried to reposition this camera here that I'm pointing at. And in a different position because I noticed uh, yesterday that my shoulder kept getting in the way of the uh, camera and so I'm going to try to alleviate that problem work on it. Anyway, ah, shut up Dave, get busy. Okay, never be afraid to kill an idea that you had the day before. Now, since the uh, upper leg is going to be all covered with uh, 
clothing. I'm not going to worry about doing a lot of anatomy up there. I'll stick with doing the anatomy just down here on the lower part of his foot. And yeah, that means I got I don't know who came up with these socks. Maybe some people did wear them. I don't know. Now see, this is more like the uh, sandal I'm going to be doing. Uh, this one right here. Except his little knot. Let's see what, what I do with that picture. That knot right there is about halfway down uh, his foot knot right up there at the ankle. Or maybe that knot, maybe that knot was pulled up tight. Now I think about it. Kind of like a slip type thing where he could slip it and then his foot would come out of the, the sandal better. I'll bet that's what that was. Huh, interesting. I just, just occurred to me. Anyway. Well, it's too late for me to continue. I went upstairs and I decided I can't just rely on my mannequin. I needed to get some other uh, things that would emphasize the anatomy a little bit more like uh, the, the knobs on the uh, knuckles of the uh, toes. 
and uh, some sculptures that have been done of beak. And I run it off both sides. And then this is uh, somebody ran a uh, uh, 3D print or did it on a 3D program. And uh, it shows the feet really well. Uh, the same with this one here. I ran it off both ways, one for left and one for right, so that I can don't have to transpose everything I see to match uh, the foot I'm working on. And the same with this. But I just I printed up a whole bunch of uh, my reference materials that I've got in a folder on uh, just feet. I'm liking the way it's coming out. It's hard for me to video me working on the feet because uh, it's too far away and a wrong angle and I don't feel like setting it up right over my head. And uh, so I'm just not going to video a lot of the feet construction, but uh, I'll show you the aftermath. Uh, his staff fell off his shoulder. Anyway, it helps to have this mannequin, but uh, you still have to have more reference materials than just uh, that. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Whether it's tomorrow, I don't know. Maybe Monday, I don't know. Depends on tomorrow. Today, I got a late start because I got busy on other things, and that's the way it's been all week. I've been busy on other things. All right. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.